it starts this time. This microphone. And look over here into here. There we are. You know what? I think I can make this a little bit bigger. And I think the live stream is going now. Looks like, yeah. And there you are. Design your life. I see, Christy. Uh, <laughs> that's my little, my motto, my slogan right now. All right. <laughs> Working on it, right. you know, doing it my way. <laughs> so you've got a tech support question. Yeah, just something little um, that kind of bugs me from time to time. So I thought I would take advantage of your free tech support. Zoom All right. And, uh, uh, and see if you can help me out. So... Um, it's a trackpad issue. I have Windows 8 on this machine, so I have the two screens. Um, yeah. You know, like the other one is. Yeah, the, the regular desk, you, the regular desktop, and then the Metro screen with all the tiles. Yes, Metro screen. Is that what you call it? Yeah, that's what we call it. I hate it. <laughs> yeah, the nickname for it, piece of junk. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so. I hardly ever use that Metro screen, um, um, but occasionally when I have something open like my clock or I test camera settings or something, and then I go back to doing what I, I'm doing, um, when I move my finger from left to right on my trackpad, it reopens that screen. It launches whatever's open on that other one, it takes over my computer and I have to go manually exit it. It's not it. A huge deal, but it's frustrating. So I was just wondering if there is a way to turn that feature off or adjust trackpad settings. I didn't know if it was possible. Yeah, I think trackpad settings is probably what would be interested in 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 changing. Okay. Um, let's see. And what can I do to show a trackpad screen? I, the only thing that I can think of is to go actually connect remotely to your computer because I can't really describe it with Windows 10 computers in front of me since you're Windows 8. Okay. So how about we uh, try to set up a remote connection to your computer? Can we do that? Sure. Okay. I, think I even have that software you put on here a while ago. Well, I think probably it's good. I'm going to check here first to see if I've got you on my remote um persistent remote settings and i'm not seeing you by name so let's have you go to the website log me in one two th oh is that the red that's the red hp yeah, yeah. It looks like i do have it okay so i'm gonna try connecting here and if this starts then i'm going to display this screen on the youtube live stream as it gets going here and it looks like that's working so we'll switch to that when it is showing you there yeah there we go so at the moment you're not on the uh, youtube live stream your camera's not turned on there um as we're trying to get into your computer. Actually, we're not there yet, so I'm going to come back to you. Okay. All right, you're back on <laughs> until this connection actually goes through. Now, we know that computer has got some sludge crud in it and it's operating kind of slow, but here it looks like I'm getting in. So, again, I'm going to switch back to your screen when it comes available. And... <laughs> Uh, how fun that is. So, yeah, we're seeing your screen now, which means we're seeing your view of the Zoom session. <laughs> uh, and we're going to take that away soon. Let's get some things maximized here to fill up the screen. There we go. Okay, so go ahead, take me to your uh, desktop. There we go. Maybe you'd like okay. to close that down. All right. So you're having trackpad issues. So what we want to do is go into 
control panel and since we're dealing with Windows 8 it's a little different how we get there and I'm going to try the Windows key and the letter R to bring up the run command and then type control panel. The methods for getting into the mouse settings with Windows 8. I'm not sure I remember quite offhand, so I'm just going to go this way to make it easy. So then in here we're going to come over to mouse. Double click on mouse. And here we see Synaptics Touchpad. There's a double click speed. That's not what we're looking for. There's pointers we're not going to change. Pointer options we're not going to change. We're not going to change wheel or hardware. Let's go to device settings. And here we have Synaptics Touchpad. So we're going to try adjusting settings for that. We're waiting for that another screen to appear. There we go. So here's some possibilities. So when you would touch your trackpad, it would switch to an application that you have open on the Metro side. Correct. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. So my first thought is when you're touching, when, when you just... Is it when you first touch the pad or when you swipe or drag your finger? It seems to be when I drag my finger from left to right. I've noticed it more in like the bottom left hand corner. Um, all right. All right. So maybe it's a, a zone issue. Does this give us enable edge swipes? And then there's an overview area here. Okay, so I'm going to click on Enable Edge Swipes. So do you think you can reliably test? Yeah, see what they just showed right there? That yeah, was yeah. exactly what you're describing. When they started from the left edge of the touchpad and swiped, it went to the Metro screen. Now, this video should loop and show us that again. Right now, we're seeing the, the this right edge screen uh, for settings. Now here's the finger on the left side and they're on the desktop. And as soon as they yep. move their finger across from the left edge, you think that's what you're getting? Yep. And it only seems to be about that much. I'm not swiping all the way across the trackpad. Um, it seems like mine was a little bit lower, but I can't be certain of that. But that's okay. definitely the motion. It could be lower. Now there's a question mark right here. So I think it's going to describe more about it. Enable edge swipes. Select the enable edge swipes checkbox to enable a one finger movement from the edge of the touchpad in towards the center of the touchpad. A swipe from the left edge to the center switches from the currently open application to the previously open application. Hmm. So it's, um, let's see, from the edge one finger from the left edge to the from the currently open application to the previous open application now that doesn't say specifically that it's going to go to the um, metro screen a swipe from the right edge to the center opens or closes the charms bar which is that bar on the right edge of the screen mm -hmm. of the metro screen a swipe from the top edge to the center opens or closes the application bar now, I'm suspecting you don't really need any of those. No. I'm going to close this description window. Now, while we still have that check mark in place, I want you to go ahead and test that operation. We're expecting it to do that undesired operation as you test it right now. Um, I don't have anything open. Okay, just try swiping from the left to the to the right, from the left edge to the right and see if it even goes to the Metro screen. It might not. No, so it's not. It, it did not. It seem to be moving my mouse. It's, oh, there it goes. Okay. So let's try going to the Metro screen. Now, simply pressing the Windows key should take us to the Metro screen. I'm going to... Okay, oh, you did. You got it. That's fine. <laughs> now, go ahead and open something from the Metro screen. 
Um, where's my alarms? I pinned it to my taskbar. Yeah, this is just a help screen. I'm not sure that's going to be what we want. No. How about and close that and just open that calendar app from the Metro screen. And let's just leave. This is, I think, far enough on the calendar app. Go ahead back to your desktop screen. And then try swiping from the left edge of your trackpad. Yep. Yep, that switched to this app that was open on the Metro screen. Okay, so now go back to the desktop and remove that check mark from Enable Edge Swipes. And then click OK. And then click OK from this screen. And now test the swipe from the left edge. Nope. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Yay. I hate it. It was like my mouse had a mind of its own. No, I will tell you what to do when I want to do that. Yay. Oh, All right. I'm so glad. So you can close the control panel. Did you have anything else? No, I think. Oops. I get this back big. Hide video. There we go. There we are. No, oh, I think that did it. Yay. Good. <laughs> it's amazing the little things in life that make me happy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we like it that way. It's true. It's so annoying. All right. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Well, we'll shut Alrighty, down the I'll session now. Later. All right. See you later, okay. sweetie. Bye. Bye bye. You want to come say bye to Grandpa? Oh, is, is he there? He's here. Are you can come say hi. Come, come say hi. Hi, <laughs> hey, Braden. Hi. This is my grandson, Braden, my daughter, Christy. If I didn't make that <laughs> clear earlier, <laughs> to everybody out there on YouTube, you want to say hi to people, to YouTube people, Braden? Say hi, YouTube people. No. <laughs> All right. They're not your people. They're not your gamers. So much for that. All right. <laughs> Goodbye. We're shutting right. down. We'll let you go. All right. Bye. Bye. So if you would like to request a support session with me, you can send an email to Doug Betts at livewindowstraining.com. Be happy to help you. This support session is free and you're helping me create a YouTube video to show people how to fix various things, whatever you might need fixing or a little bit of training on. Be glad to help you. So I hope this was useful. Catch you later. Goodbye.